Hi there, and welcome back to The Lisa Nichols Show, where I share with you the tools that we all need to live the life that we want to achieve. Listen, over the years, I've had the opportunity to connect with, train, work, um, and just work beside countless coaches, trainers, facilitators, speakers, change agents, while all of these beautiful leaders are each different in their own way. What I've noticed is that a lot of individuals in the coaching industry are vulnerable to some common myths that can truly stop you from achieving what you want to achieve as a coach or as a trainer or as a business owner and to live the life that you love in this industry. So today I'm going to share with you some com a common myth that holds coaches and trainers back and how you can overcome it. In part one of this series, we discuss the common myth that the coaching and training market is too saturated. I broke down why that's not true and exactly how to overcome that roadblock. You can find the link to that video below if you want to catch up. Now, let's get to the second myth. Myth number two, a marketing strategy, a solid, strong marketing strategy will make up for the lack of confidence and certainty. Oh no, it will not. First of all, you have to know that most people don't even admit that they have a lack of confidence. They have a lack of certainty. What they have a tendency to do is spend a lot of time making sure that the glitz and the glamour and the bells and the whistles are super attractive. So many trainers and coaches get sucked into the belief system that all they need to be more successful is a really complex marketing strategy. No. Part of this is because coaches, business coaches and marketers want you to believe that their program is what will solve all your problems. But the larger issue is that our brains want to believe that there's an easy external solution. However, you cannot overcompensate for internal insecurities. Listen, the external security that is a searching for the right way, the right system, the right strategy, people aren't gonna hire you because of your marketing strategy. They're gonna hire you because of your certainty. You wanna attract more people, you wanna embody more certainty. You wanna embody more certainty, have applied action over and over and over again. If you wanna be certain that you can facilitate growth, then you need to understand the art and the science of facilitation. Instead of filling your brain with more marketing strategies, learn the art of facilitation, the art of transformation, the science of facilitation, the science of how the brain works, the levels of emotions, the layers to feelings. You wanna understand all the things that allow you to embody the certainty that you need to embody as a facilitator and trainer. I look at it this way. People often wanna get to the 35th floor but they wanna take the elevator. And the reality is, if you want the strength in your glutes, the strength in your hamstrings, the strength in your certainty, then take the stairs. So, does the coach with the best marketing win? Definitely not. Flashy ads may get them in the door, but it's your confidence and your certainty and the value you provide to your clients that will make them want to work with you. I cannot tell you how many times over and over again I actually had the weakest marketing strategy. Like I didn't have a lot of bells and whistles. I couldn't afford it. I didn't know how to do it. But I embodied the most certainty. I know like I know like I know what I can do when someone works with me. And time over time again, that's what kept moving me higher and higher to the top. So this myth is busted. Flashy marketing does not make up for confidence. Remember, this show is not just a monologue. It's a dialogue. I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts about what I just shared? What are your thoughts about marketing versus confidence? What are your thoughts about your level of confidence and your effort in marketing and how they go together? I, I would love to hear which of these myths surprised you? Which did you relate to? Leave me a comment below. We're in a dialogue. This is a conversation between you and I. After all, this is your home. 
and we are your tribe, and I am your sister in prosperity and in possibility. And when I say that I believe in you and I love you, it's because I do. I'll see you real soon.